This is your daily devotional from the Inspired Word of Lord. January the 10th, the faith I live by, the evidence of experience. Psalm 34 verse 8. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. There is an evidence that is open to all, the most highly educated and the most literary. The evidence of experience. God invites us to prove for ourselves the reality of His Word, the truth of His promises. He bids us taste and see that the Lord is good. Instead of depending upon the Word of another, we are to taste for ourselves. And as we draw near to Jesus and rejoice in the fullness of His love, our doubt and darkness will disappear in the light of his presence. The Christian knows in whom he has believed. He does not only read the Bible, he experiences the power of its teaching. He has not only heard of Christ's righteousness, he has opened the windows of the soul to the light of the Son of Righteousness. Everyone who has passed from death unto life is able to set to his seal that God is true. He can testify, I needed help, and I found it in Jesus. Every want was supplied, the hunger of my soul was satisfied, and now the Bible is to me the revelation of Jesus Christ. Do you ask why I believe in Jesus? Because he is to me the divine Savior. Why do I believe the Bible? Because I have found it to be the voice of God to my soul. We may have the witness in ourselves that the Bible is true, that Christ is the Son of God. We know that we are not following cunningly devised fables. Let the youth make the word of God the food of mind and soul. Thus, through faith, they will come to know God by an experimental knowledge. They have proved for themselves the reality of His Word, the truth of His promises. They have tasted and they know that the Lord is good. It is our privilege to reach higher and still higher for clearer revealings of the character of God. In his light shall we see light until mind and heart and soul are transformed into the image of his holiness. Maranatha, the Lord is coming soon.